You don't know what you're missing not coming with us. Uh, killing animals just isn't my thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. To you people up in New York, a uh, successful hunting trip means coming home with a color TV under each arm. <laughs> Roy, already lost an hour of daylight. I know that, Jasper, I know that. Clark, you keep looking. I ain't going nowhere till I find my hunting hat. <laughs> Got the car all packed, Chief. Oh, that's, that's good. Got the ammunition put away. It's fine. <laughs> Beer's all iced down. Okay. Engine's running. <laughs> Harley, we stuck following me around like a trail dog. Now go out, turn that engine off. We ain't going nowhere till I find my hunting hat. Oh, Chief, by the time we get out there, all the good animals will be dead. <laughs> going to be bagged by the deadliest hunter in the forest. Excuse me, old deadly one. <laughs> How long have you guys been after this deer? Oh, ten years. And you go through this every year, chasing this little fluffy little deer through the woods. <laughs> fluffy? We're not talking about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> this is Big Buck. He's the biggest, fiercest, smartest animal in the forest. He's just a dumb deer. What? Just some dumb deer. He's a dumb deer. Now, you listen, Baker. You listen. If you'd have been up on Lover's Point one summer night back in 72, Big Buck had made a believer out of you. What happened? Well, now, they said Big Buck come a-charging out of the woods. Now, I'm talking about nine feet tall. The antlers 12 feet across. See? Mm -hmm. Well, them lovers, they just they took off in every which direction. Well, except for Lester Tubbs, he was too slow, see? So Big Buck drew a bead on Lester's van. He charged it, and whoom, he knocked it right off a of lover's point. Thank the good Lord Lester was alone at the time, or somebody could have got seriously hurt. <laughs> hey, come on, y'all, let's go. The motor's turned off, and I will be, too, if we don't get out of here soon. Yeah, let's don't spend the whole day talking about Big Buck. Let's get out there and mow him down. Can I ask a silly question? You usually do. <laughs> Have you ever really seen Big Buck? I've ever seen him? Mm -hmm. Well, you were, uh, yeah. <laughs> not real close up. I thought so. Nobody's ever really seen Big Buck. I seen him. All right, it was at a distance, I'll admit. But let me tell you, even a mile away, that was a blood-chilling sight. Now, I'm talking about 10 feet tall with antlers 15 feet across. Well, a minute ago, he was 9 feet tall with antlers 12 feet wide. I mean, what, he got a gland condition? Chief, can we get out of here? Clarence, you find that hat yet? Harley, you put up your money in the hunting pool. Come on, where's your $20? <laughs> well, it's my pleasure. I mean, after all, it's just on loan anyways. Oh, you really think you're going to get him, Harley? I don't like to be immodest, but it did so happen that I won the policeman marksmanship competition this year. And with this new Remington 30 off 6 I can split hair on a bullfrog at 100 yards. <laughs> this rifle's a work of art. Yeah, well, I'm sure any deer would be proud to get shot by it. <laughs> you don't like it, do you, Curtis? Well, I can't get all worked up about guns and shooting. And you call yourself an American? <laughs> of course, of course, where can...
could that hat be? Well, Roy, I have turned your office upside down. It just isn't there. You know what I think, Roy? Cloris has always been against these hunting trips. I think she deliberately hid your hat. Oh, I did not hide his hat. Even if I am opposed to the slaughter of poor innocent creatures. Hunting is part of the balance of nature. To me, it's a contest between me and that wild animal. His strength and cunning matched against my wits. <laughs> is it too late for me to put $20 on Big Buck? <laughs> Cloris, why don't you go out and look in the back of my squad car? And hurry up, Cloris. It's gonna ruin my whole day if I don't kill something soon. <laughs> you men. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Turn it home! <laughs> Make way for the great white hunter! Say what? <laughs> oh, not the personal, Sergeant Baker. <laughs> well, are we ready? Hey, hey, what you are you serious? Sure! Yes, I am. Sir. <laughs> you mean... You mean you really want to go with us? Well, I didn't get up at the crack of dawn to make potato salad for nothing. <laughs> now, where are the other dishes? <laughs> Mr. Mayor, the, there are no other dishes. This ain't gonna be no picnic. Well, if we don't take our own food, what are we supposed to eat out there? We live off the land. Well, I'm not picking up anything off the ground and putting it in my mouth. <laughs> you mean that you're really gonna go hunt with that museum piece you're toting? Why, this happens to be of immense historical value. It belonged to my late daddy. He used it to shoot one of the last hooping cranes. Let's get him in the pool. What pool? <coughs> oh, well, each of us drop in um, $40, either on which of us gets big buck. Well, uh, what if nobody shoots the beast? Well, that money don't go to waste. We all get together after the hunt and invite over about... 20 cases of beer, and then come about 4 o'clock in the morning, any of us that can still pucker, kiss all the empties goodnight. <laughs> Are you in? Well, if everybody else is, I, I guess I have to. I'll make it deductible. <clears throat> Excuse me now. I got to go to my office and uh, make a rest stop now, for I fear I won't be seeing porcelain for quite some time. <laughs> I have looked everywhere. That hat is not in your car. Well, did you look under the mats? Yes. And what I found under there, you wouldn't want to put on your head. <laughs> well, where could that hat have gone? Chief, why don't you just forget about your hat and get going? Yeah, Roy, can we get out of here? All right, let's go. Are we going now? Okay. Personal peach. Hello. <laughs> you have any news from the mighty hunters? Not yet. Were well, you concerned about the man? Yeah, a little. Well, he can take care of himself. He's a big boy now. Curtis, you know what the man has for breakfast? Pablum. <laughs> Hi, Curtis. Hi, Lisa. You Hi, Hello, Cloris. Is that the goodies for our dinner tonight? Sure is. All vegetables. Mm -hmm. All vegetables? Oh, you'll love it. Hey, you know, this is a special date. This is our first official dinner date. Our first official dinner date? Mm-hmm. Who invited me? Of course. And who's paying for it? Cloris. Uh -huh. And where is it taking place? Cloris's place. Well, honey... This is not our first official dinner date. Hey, tell me something. How did you do it? What? Get granite to pump blood, because, Mommy, you got a heart of stone. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> the famous hat. Where did you find it? <laughs> well, I knocked over some cookbooks, and it just come crawling out from between some of Roy's recipes. <laughs> Casper, what are you doing back here already? You won't believe it. The mayor shot him. All right. <laughs> Picked him off from over 200 yards as clean as a whistle. The mayor shot Big Buck. <laughs> no, the mayor 
fair shot, Chief Roy. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, but the Lord, in his ever-watchful way, allowed the bullet just to graze his arm. You mean he ain't dead? Of course he ain't dead. Did I say he was dead? You didn't say he wasn't, you dumb son. Now watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Come on, hold on. Jasper, where is he? Oh, Harley took him over to the county general to get patched up. Are you positive that the mayor shot the chief? Of course I am. You know, that darn fool was blasting away at anything that moved. <laughs> First, he shot the raccoon tail off in Harley's car antenna. <laughs> then he blew some little kid's kite right out of the sky. <laughs> Next, he hit poor Luke Hawkins' prize bull. Oh, uh, did he kill him? No, but from now on, instead of charging, that bull's gonna be skipping. <laughs> I think the mayor might need me, Claus. Jasper, just tell us what happened. Well, once we got to uh, Gopher's Wood, the mayor insisted on striking out alone. Well, we all said, good riddance. I mean, we'd had just about enough of his company after he got car sick all over us. <laughs> right after we split up, Roy spotted our first deer. Dropped him in one shot. You know, that was one of the cleanest shots I ever saw. That deer just so Jasper, that... just tell us how the chief was shot. Well, I was getting to that. Now, Roy was toting that deer up in his shoulders, and the mayor must have seen them antlers coming through the brush. Because <laughs> I heard him scream out, It's Big Buck! And the next thing I know, I heard the gunshot. Oh, you see, it's all my fault. If Roy had been wearing his hat, he wouldn't have got shot. Jasper, did you actually see the mayor shoot the chief? Well, no, we were down there crawling through the brush, but he did it all right. And his next in command, it's your duty to go arrest him. Uh, uh, Jasper. Uh... <laughs> sure gets lonely at the top. I hate nature. I just hate it. The last thing I do, I'm going to have that whole forest condemned. <laughs> I should have left when that squam of hornets attacked my potato salad. <laughs> Try and get this hot tea down, Mr. Mayor. Oh, Lucille, it was just awful. I saw my fellow man in his most primitive state. Disgusting. <laughs> All those dirty jokes. And no one would explain him to me either. <laughs> I hate to bother you, Mr. Mayor, but there seem to be a few questions about this shooting incident involving the chief. Curtis, I'm sorry, the mayor just doesn't feel well. Oh, that, that's all right, Lucille. I'll see Sergeant Baker now. Now, Mr. Mayor. Now, Sergeant about... Baker, before you say anything, I just want you to know that I did some revolting things out there today. But one thing I did not do was shoot the chief. And I'll admit to shooting Harley's raccoon tail <laughs> and the kite and I'll admit to shooting that crazed wild cow that was charging us <laughs> that was all sounds like that's enough let me take a look at something here is this all the ammunition you took along one clip it's all my daddy left me <laughs> now this clip holds six rounds now minus the raccoon tail and the little boy's kite and the bull well, there's three rounds left, so the chief couldn't have been shot with this gun. Wow, Sergeant Baker, what a magnificent piece of detective work. Oh, uh, uh, congratulations. Yeah, but thank you. So I want you to clear my good name and find the guilty party. Well, that might not be very easy. Handle it, Sergeant Baker. Handle it, handle it. <laughs> Horace, will you, will you stop fussing with me? Oh, Roy, hush, you know you love it. Well, I, I don't love it. 
I thought you were supposed to be resting comfortably. Horace, we can't go everywhere together. Folks are going to start talking. Boy, I just can't believe it. You was almost killed. <laughs> Baker, would you get her out of here before a flock of ducks show up looking for their mother? Roy, Moby, you promised me one thing. The next time you feel the call of the wild... Call me. Uh, <laughs> you get Dr. Brand at the hospital online for me, please. Sure. Thank you. You wait till I get my hands on that mayor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the book at him. Chief, I think that would be a mistake. You see, I don't think the mayor shot you. What? Curtis. Okay. Look, I think I can get everything figured out. You just take it easy for a while, huh? Hello, Dr. Brandt. It is Sergeant Baker. Do you have that gunshot report on the chief yet? Okay, I'll wait. Ah, oh, Harley, don't take it so hard. You know, you're making more of a fuss over losing that raccoon tail than the raccoon did. <laughs> Hello. No, I'm waiting for Dr. Brandt. Thank you. Hey, Harley. Harley. Yeah? How come you're so upset? Uh, you know the Chief's gonna be all right, don't you? Yeah, no thanks to me. You mean no? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Hello, Dr. Brandt. Uh, wait, it's probably a 30-06, right? Yeah, I thought so. No, it's no mystery. Uh, no report would be necessary. It was an accident, plain and simple. Yeah, the fellow that did it just voluntarily told me all about it. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Curtis. Hey. I want to tell you about it sooner, but I just couldn't think about it. And every time I'd go to say something, I just got all sick at my stomach. And the chief just looked so pitiful laying there with his armor bleeding and that stunned look on his face. I understand, but it was an accident, Holly. Why don't you just go in, talk with the chief, and get things straightened out? Yeah, I've been sitting over there trying to work up the courage, and I guess I got it now. I think I better have a drink first. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want me to go in there and talk with him first? Hey, would you do that for me, Curtis? Sure, and believe me, the chief will understand. Well? I was right. The mayor didn't shoot you. Who the hell did? Well, I'll tell you. If you promise, you won't get upset. You just tell me who. I'll take care of the upset. <laughs> Harley? Harley shot me? And he feels really terrible about it. Well, you get him in here, I'll make him feel terrible in parts of his body he didn't even know he had. Chief. Harley just had an accident with a gun. Now, if he was a bank teller or a school teacher, that would be bad enough, but Harley is a cop, and you must know what it feels like to be a cop and shoot someone you didn't mean to. Same feeling you get shooting somebody you do mean to. Right. I'm gonna go get him. Harley? I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. Go ahead. No, you go ahead first. It's all right, Harley. Mine can wait. I'm sure what you had to say is a lot more important than what Harley, I had Harley, just say. go ahead and say whatever you was going to say. Now you made me forget what it was. <laughs> Harley, what, what am I going to do with you? You don't have to do nothing with you, Chief. Because I'm going to do something with myself. I'm, I'm going to quit the police force. You will... <laughs> Harley, now look, it was, it was just an accident. All right, I did a lot of yelling and a lot of screaming, but I'm like that. Every time I get shot, I lose my temper. 
<laughs> Harley, you're not a careless person. Well, not real careless. I, t I tell you what, why don't we just forget this whole thing ever happened? I don't think I can forget it, Chief. If I live to be old as Methuselah, I'll never forget the picture of you laying there on the ground with your arm bleeding, just whimpering like a little girl puppy. <laughs> Harley, maybe next time you stop and think before you pull the trigger. But what if next time I'm on duty when it happens, Chief? Harley, there ain't a cop in the world that ain't had that nightmare one time or other. But Harley, we, we just pound our beat and hope that nobody shoots us and, and hope that we don't have to shoot nobody either. And after 25 years, they give you a gold watch. <laughs> That's what being a cop is. And you're a damn good one, Harley. That's why I want you to stay on the force. All right, on your feet, Officer Puckett. You get out there and tend to business. I tell you, I'll see you at the bear bus. Oh, and Harley, don't worry none. I ain't going to tell nobody that you grazed me with a bullet. Thanks, Chief. I really appreciate that. Oh, it's all right, Harley. It'd really hurt my reputation as a marksman if they found out I missed you. 